I am here today with Lori on her food truck. Lori, tell me about your food truck. Well, um, it is Lori Lynn's Cookies and Cream. We drive all over El Paso County, sometimes Castle Rock. We'll go up to Denver, go down as far south as Pueblo if needed. And we serve up made to order ice cream sandwiches. Oh, they are amazing. So tell me about the whole process of how to order a ice cream sandwich, yeah. or a cookie ice cream sandwich, if you will. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So when you come up to our truck, you choose two cookie flavors and an ice cream flavor, and we make up your ice cream sandwich. So you get really get to make your own ice cream sandwich. Um, our cookies are all made from scratch in our bakery in Colorado Springs, so okay. that's pretty cool. We use Bluebell ice cream, um, and we also always have gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan options as well in cookies and ice cream. So that also kind of expands our menu and helps us reach allergy-friendly crowd too. That's awesome. So what prompted you to maybe want to start a food truck? <laughs> right. I mean, it's all the craze right now because I, but you're, yes, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> here we food are. Truck. Here we are. So, um, I have always been a baker and always loved to bake cookies okay. specifically. And, um, I started out in 2016 with a cottage food bakery and I would bake my cookies from home and do a cookie delivery business. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and that was really fun. It was kind of a great way to test the market to see what people really liked, how it worked. And I realized I really didn't like to be alone in my kitchen all day. So okay. I took a business class and said, I've got these cookie, read this cookie, read these cookie recipes. Um, and an incredibly extroverted personality helped. And so my business teacher and I came up with the idea of an ice cream sandwich truck where I take my cookie recipes, I get to be out on the truck all day. Um, I hired a full a full time um, baking and pastry chef. She does all the baking for me in the kitchen and she loves the quiet kitchen with no people. And I love the food <laughs> truck, so it's perfect. Okay. Awesome, so there is a, a myth out there that your truck has a name. <gasps> yes, yes, <laughs> What's this the is truck's name? Marta. Our Marta. truck's name is Marta. That was actually my Spanish name. You know when you're in high school and you're in Spanish yes. classes, you have to pick a name. My name was Marta. At the time, my maiden name was Martin. So it was Marta Martin. And as soon as I saw the truck, when my best friend and I drove out to Houston to drive her back, um, I saw her and was like, that's Marta. That's amazing. Yeah. So what's one of your favorite things about having a food truck or running a food truck? Yeah. I think... I mean, really, truly, honestly, it is being able to connect with people when they come up to the window. So my cookies have always been a vehicle to connect with people. That's everything I do. It's why I love people so much. I yeah. love learning about them, learning their stories, and, um, and really just pulling them out of the day-to-day -day humdrum of work or phones yeah. and all the things. So when they come up to the window, one of the best parts is being able to talk with them. We always have a question of the day. So yes. even while they're waiting in line, they could talk with those people that they came with. Um, it's just one of my favorite things is to get to know people and watch them connect with the people that they came with um, while they're waiting in line and eating our ice cream sandwich. Okay. So for the viewers out there, do you do fundraisers or how does it work if someone wanted to get you to come to a, an area or get you to come to a, a place? Yeah. Yeah. So on the first part of that question, we do do fundraisers. A lot of schools or organizations um, will have us come out and we can donate like 10% of what comes in back to them. That's and phenomenal. we always kind of advertise it so that people know that when they're buying things, that money is going back to whatever organization, school that they're, um, they're visiting that day. Um, and really just to book our truck on our website, we have a form. People just fill that out and I get back to them and we go from there. Awesome, that's, yeah. that's great. So what are some of the pitfalls or the, like during the slower season because we're in Colorado and it's cold soon and yeah. I mean I will always love an ice cream sandwich no matter what yes. time of the year but mm -hmm. I some people you know so what 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 do you, how do you approach that yeah it is definitely a challenge living in a colder climate for sure um, on the truck one of the ways we do that we have warm cookies hot drinks like apple cider, coffee, oh. hot chocolate, and we do affogados, which are coffee with um, ice cream. In what? That's yeah, amazing, oh. it's delicious. So we also have stuffed cookies through the fall and winter, which for example, you can kind of see some of them are here. We have a cinnamon churro stuffed with honey cream cheese. Oh. We have a chocolate chip stuffed with Nutella and a cookies and cream stuffed with Oreo. So we have those and those are also served warm. 
And then we are a full service bakery as well. So as I mentioned, I hired a baking and pastry chef and she's full time no matter what time of year it is. So we are um, launching again this year our holiday menu where you can get um, cookie dough balls to bake at home. We have a special artisan series of cookies that we're launching this year that um, are kind of more of a dipped cookie that are really fancy that you could feel like you could bring as a hostess yeah. gift or to a party. Um, we have truffles. We do um, sugar cookies like cut out with like cookie Christmas trees and Santas and that kind of thing. So she also yeah. makes big pies of cookies. Yes. So I ordered a bunch of those last year it's and true. they were amazing and my clients loved them. Yeah. So if there was one thing you wanted to tell the viewers out there about you or your truck or anything, what message would you want to besides we want to support local because that's the most <laughs> important thing. Right. Supporting yeah. local yeah. and shopping local. Yeah, absolutely. I think the food truck community is something that I tapped into before I owned a truck, but now that I am actually a part of it, it is a pretty amazing community of small business owners who really are the main face of their business. Okay. There's Most small business owners are the ones working on the front lines and in the background as well. Um, food trucks, there's tons of food truck fests all over that you can go and visit, and I kind of call them gourmet food courts. Yes. You can just go to each one, find different foods, different foods from different countries and really amazing food from chefs that are just knocking it out of the park yes. and don't want to spend their money on a brick and mortar are using that money towards really great ingredients and amazing food. So. You just gave me goosebumps, like seriously. <laughs> I got goosebumps, so that's good. amazing, that's a great so message. Good. So how would we find you on social or give us some of your contact information so the viewers out there can reach yeah. out to you if they need to. Absolutely, so our website is lorilins, L-O-R-I-L-Y-N-N-S dot com. Um, from there, you can also, <laughs> yes, also here, um, you can also go to our, we have Instagram and Facebook. We always post our schedules every okay. Monday, um, where we'll be um, for that week. And then on our website, we have a Google calendar that is just shows constantly. So if you don't want to wait for the Monday to find out where we'll be, you can always see us there. Um, Instagram and Facebook is at lori.lins.cookiesandcream. Well, yeah. Lori, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. And for all of you out there, thank you for your time and stay tuned.